Hi, David. I have a call for you. I'm just putting it through. All right, mate. Dave here. Listen, uh, I know you've only come in to clean up the place, but I've got a bit caught up, so uh, you're going to have to run the news tonight. Now, don't worry. It's not hard, and I'm going to stay on the phone and help you. First, I'm going to give you a quick tour of the broadcast room, so if you're not doing it already, look forwards towards all those screens. Right, look up at the top. That coloured bar is your audience. You want to keep the viewers going up and not down. Underneath that, you've got the screens. The one on the right is the broadcast screen. That's what the viewers are seeing at home. It's only a couple of seconds behind the master screen there in the middle. That's the one you control. Now, the four small screens on the left show the different signals coming from the studio. And you can choose between them using the numbered buttons on the vision mixer at the bottom left. Don't worry. I'll talk you through it and you'll pick it up in no time. Now, have a look to your left. These plugs control everything in the studio. I've left them set up for you, so provided you haven't fiddled with them, all you have to do now is throw the master trip switch and we're in business. Once you've got the power on, face the front again. You can see on the broadcast screen that we're in the end titles for the show before us. Fortunately, they go on for fucking ages, so there's plenty of time for me to explain... Oh, right, okay, they're over, so we haven't got long now till the broadcast. Right, quickly, mate, look down under the desk. You can see a load of videotapes on the left. They're your adverts. Pick any three and load them into the machines on the right. When you've done that, look up to the front again. Followed at 8pm by award-winning documentary series, The Shape of Now, which tonight looks at the history of the knee-length sock and its importance during the Great Blackouts of 1871. You should be getting a signal from the studio soon. At sit back and relax with multiple award-winning movies. The when you get the signal, select screen one with the vision mixer and we're ready to go. Oh, Pour on a mayonnaise. Mm. You don't see if you make it go out and pass Yeah, I thought it might increase our viewing figures. Every day. You offer me prawns every day. Ten seconds, everybody. That's how I show love. You're trying to kill me. And yet you persist. Oh, going five, four. Oh, it's time to join Jeremy Donaldson. Good evening, I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Good evening. Our main story is tonight. Okay, moving on up. all good. Next thing is going to be to throw to the news titles on screen two. Oh, There'll be a countdown, but I'll count you in as well. Just relax, mate. It's all gravy. Buys honors Andy's totally independent and corners the flat market. Top chat. Sports fans have celebrated as popular footballer Johnny Hansley wins sports personality movie and a spoonful of sugar. Megan will be chatting with movie star Lawrence Vonderclatch about his new movie, The Medicated. And, of course, we'll be going live to advance headquarters to hear what the leaders of this fledgling party have to say on this story. Right, button That's two, in three, two, two one, net lovely mate. Next thing is to throw back to Jeremy with button one when that globe in the middle shrinks down and vanishes. The votes are in and it's a decisive win for advance. The last now listen mate, we often get a bit of interference around this time of night, so keep your eye on the machine on the bottom right. You can move that white dot up and down, avoiding the interference using the yellow knob. But critics have accused him of a severe lack of actual policies and of being deliberately vain. The opposition parties have all conceded to advance's overwhelming mandate, but have yet to appear publicly. Right, it's going well. All you've got to do now is play the advert at the end of the segment. Make sure you don't play it too early or we'll all get fired. Now the clock at the top is counting you down to the advert. When it reaches zero, press one of the three play ad buttons over there at the bottom right. I normally play the first one at the first break and so on, but you can play them in any order you want. I'll count you into it as well, but keep your eye on the clock. We're going live to Advance HQ to hear the co leaders accept us. And three, two... One advert. One minute back, everybody. Jeremy, 
I need you to fill out the ads. What? Why? Ranker Snatch is running late. Oh. I thought I'd ask him about the election. Personally, I wouldn't try to confuse him with any big words. Hmm, that's the same policy we use with you. I thought that was our little secret. He doesn't remember anything I tell him. <laughs> I'm deeply uncomfortable with your burgeoning friendship. Yeah. Wicked. We made it to the first ad break. You're doing great, mate. But this is where it starts getting a bit trickier. This next sequence is what we call a multicam sequence because you're going to be cutting between multiple cameras to keep things interesting. A lot of it's down to personal taste, but here's three good rules of thumb. One, try and keep the shot on whoever is doing the talking. Two, don't stay on the same shot for too long, 10 seconds at the most. So if you're on the person who's talking, try and throw in the odd reaction shot or pull out to the wide shot for a bit just to keep it interesting. Three, don't stay on reaction shots for too long. A couple of seconds is usually enough. Then the audience want to see who's doing the talking, yeah? Stick to these rules and you'll be fine. It's not as complicated as it sounds. You've seen programs on television, haven't you? Make it look like those. Might as well get screen one selected now. No need to wait for the broadcast to start. Try and stay ahead, mate. Quiet in the studio. Thank you so much. Ten seconds, everybody. Going in five, four, three. Welcome back to the National Nightly News. Later, we'll be hearing from Shock Election winners in advance. But first off, ready to go to Megan on screen four. Is here with the star of both stage and the screen. Megan? Thank you, Jeremy. Megan Wolf, culture Thank correspondent. You, and today I have a guest who starred in everything from Shakespeare right, to the Right, go to Blunderclatch on screen three when she says his name. By none other than Lawrence Blunderclatch. Thank you so much for coming on. Oh, my dear. I do hope you believe me when I tell you that being with you here today is a moment. Switch to two for the wide now. <laughs> May I say, having you here with us is among ours. <laughs> right, now just try and stay on whoever's talking. The latest movie, which is called The Medicated. The Medicated, yes. <laughs> wow, medicated. what was that like? Yeah. Well, well, as I said to Peter well, at the rap, that's Peter, Peter Jensen, the director. Give us a look at Megan's reaction. Lovely. Job. Now back to Thunder Twat. I've job. worked with him on several movies, all terribly successful. All several I said to Peter, what a wild ride this has been. What a wild Did you know what ride this has been. I really meant that. Wow, that is fantastic. And am I right in saying that the character you play in this am movie right is quite an academic one? Absolutely right. A scientist. Absolutely Was that right. a challenge a at all? What exactly are you implying? But seriously, yes, you're right. It was a complete departure from my last starring role when I played Sergeant Brock Rockman in Bullet Man. You'll remember that that was the true story of one soldier's fight for a love that surpasses all others. A love, of course, for freedom. I think it's grossed over a billion dollars, but uh, obviously who's counting? <laughs> it's a role that saw you scoop two Best Actor awards, if I remember correctly. It's so sweet of you to mention it, but I really am not in it for the awards, really although those three little statues do take pride of place on my mantelpiece. Uh, with all the others, I'm sure. Get on the speaker, mate. If you're not doing it for the awards, mm. what is it then that drives you? Oh, that is a beautiful question, Megan, and not easy to answer. Like you, I'm afraid. Cut me, and I will bleed. And often, that's how it feels, doesn't it? That's how it doesn't it? Bleeding, giving, suffering for one's audience. I suppose in the end, I do it for the difference. I suppose in the end, I do it. I do it for the people that I inspire. I do it for the people. The little people. But most of all, I think I do it for the positive most change that I, I can bring about in the world. And today, of course, <laughs> we're in for some real change, it looks like, in the coming few months. What do you make of this historic election result? Oh, well, <laughs> well, now you're asking. Historic election result, indeed. Historic is the word. Well, it's difficult, isn't it? Very difficult. But, um, I think... I've always been quite clear that when, that when it comes to politics, that one should always strive to strive. not fuck things up. Shit, he swore. 
Oh, oh well, don't worry, you won't do it again. Sorry, I said fuck. Shit, he did it again. Okay, don't panic. I'll explain how to deal with swearing at the break. Which opens next week. Right, they've swapped the shot of Jeremy on screen one for a VT of the movie clip. You'll get a countdown on the screen, but I'll just let Megan cue you in. My character, Dr. Lance Hemlock, is faced with a decision that could affect humanity's very survival. Exciting stuff. Let's take a look. Exciting stuff. Watch out for that interference, mate. Doctor. I don't understand it. Cool, looks like Blunder Clatch is losing it in the studio. I'd love to hear what he's saying, but don't switch to it now. You can go to the Russia's room when the broadcast's done. We keep everything. In all of this, we mustn't. Doctor Lance. Flanagan! Did it for you, baby. All for you. Dr. Hemlock! We're gonna change the world, you remember? Don't listen to me. Dr. Hemlock! You told me, but I didn't listen. Doctor! I'm drowning, Lance, you said. You need to see this. No, it's all too late! Look at this! Got it. You've got a car park. Said Bombly. On the tank. Remember to select screen one Hi, now that you've got the feed. Don't wait for the, the, the broadcast to go live. That's to too late. Place. You can hey, use the number everybody. buttons on your key. One to four. Running the country. Seriously, we've had worse. Five, four, three. Welcome back. And I'm told we can now go Welcome back. To advance headquarters. And I'm told we can now Where go to advance headquarters. Peter Clement and Where Julia Salisbury. Are about, to make their acceptance are about to make their acceptance address. Cut to the outside broadcast. Oh, oh shit, for it, he's pissed. Lifestyle? Get ready to oh, bleed. For it, for it. Uh, thank you okay. all for coming. And, well, uh, thank you all for coming. Where do I start? Well, what a do I start? They said we couldn't do it. They said we couldn't do it. Every dirty low-down lie in this southern bastard. I had southern bastard. I'm sorry about the language there. I'm sorry, sorry about, about that. Perfect. Perfect. Sorry about that. I've had a couple of celebrations. Coarser than the grown is funny. Coarser than the grown is Nailed it. But to be honest, who can blame Peter for celebrating? But to be honest, who can blame Peter for celebrating? Throughout the campaign, you've heard us say that advance are not a political party. Throughout the campaign, you've heard us say that advance are not a political party. That is what you have when things are going well. That is what you have when things are going well. When the country is suffering, you don't need a party. You need a team. Remember the ten-second rule. Teams that can change things. 
But today is day one of a new future. Day one a better, a future. fairer future. A better, fairer. So perhaps we should all be celebrating. Except for the rich. For them the party's the over. Rich. They shouldn't for be celebrating. The they, shouldn't they should be, be putting their shit in pants on and opening their dusty checkbooks. Again, oh, colourfully put, but, Again, colourful but colourful not inaccurate. Before we came out here to address the nation, we, we used our executive to powers nation, to pass the Assets and Wealth Act. Working with the tax office, office, we have produced a definitive list of every person in the country with wealth into the million. You know the sort. Probably you, you rather you don't. Too long on this, mate. You and me are not welcome in their gated community. Tomorrow, we will be introducing a sweeping reform of the tax system in this country. No more hiding wealth offshore, no more trust funds. Or creative accounting, a simpler, fairer, unavoidable set of tax laws. So all you bastard public school snobs have got nowhere to hide. I've got nowhere today. We revoke your passport. You want them back? You want to leave? Audience is getting bored, mate. That's fine. But first, you're gonna pay us. You're gonna pay back. Advance are going to turn this country from Advance a nation of warring individuals a nation into of a warring team. individuals to properly fund health and education, to, fund to raise the living education. standards of us to all. The, the pundits said we'd have to raise billions, but you'll see when billions. we've reclaimed what's ours, that's absolute ferret shit. So to you posh twats, the people who pay you a pittance to serve them drinks in their private clubs, the people, whose, the children the people so whose children you raise, so they've got time to get even fucking richer. Advance have this to say to you. Today. We are coming for your sports cars and your mansions. Come back to the person talking. It ends today. We will put the wealth of this country back where it should have always been. In the hands of the people who created it. It ends today. Yes, it ends today. And, and tomorrow, today. we'll start making it fair tomorrow, again, we'll start making just it like we promised again. we would. Just and until like then, ladies and gents, and until then, ladies I suggest we all get back to this I can't argue with that. <laughs> Thank you for your time. You've only got a bit of a word. Well, an interesting acceptance speech well, there from the leaders of the speech And there. our apologies for the oh. fruity language. And our apologies Hopefully for the fruity language. Hopefully you've got that leaked out for me in time. If not, someone's going to be in trouble. If not, Someone's going to be in touch. So, as the country braces itself for so, new government, that's all from us this evening at the National Night News. That's all from us this evening. We'll be back tomorrow with full coverage we'll of the first day under with full coverage of the first I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Have a peaceful I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Right, looks like you've got it now. Thanks for the help, mate. I've got to go. Ferry's about to leave. Probably won't be coming back. Job's yours, mate. Good luck. Any old boring politics, then? This is some weird fever thing. Am I dying? You should be so lucky. I'll see you tomorrow night. Not coming for a drink? No, got a date. Lucky you. Try not to get murdered. Neil Steele's a lot real. You've got people coming over at Christmas. You've got an aunt. She's going to leave a stain on the sofa. You don't want to sit on this white sofa. She's going to have to sit on the dark sofa. This is the deal. Someone's pooping on me. Alan James is right. We're working every hour we can just to try and cope with the caseloads on our desks. <laughs> For a return to the days when you could safely walk the streets of your community at night, looking in through windows and generally enjoying your neighbours. Yeah, that was definitely a good job, eh? <laughs>